If you have osteoporosis and you love your coffee, you want to know if it's making your osteoporosis worse. And also, is there a certain amount you can drink or even the lowest amount, is that bad for you? Well, that's exactly what we're going to discuss in this video. Before we get there, who am I to be telling you about this? My name is Igor. I'm the author of the Amazon best-selling book called Osteoporosis Reversal Secrets. As well, I run an online personal training company specializing in osteoporosis. So let's get to it. Different studies show different effects of caffeine on osteoporosis. For example, there are a bunch of studies that show that coffee or and caffeine makes you lose calcium from your bones. But there's a discrepancy between short-term research like hours versus long-term research, in other words, years. And do we see that calcium losses from bones in the hour period, do they translate to an increased fracture risk and decreased bone density in the long term, in a span of years? Fortunately, the answer is no. So a number of studies have found that coffee consumption increases calcium losses from the bones. And most people who quote that study, they neglect to mention for how long. It makes you lose coffee from your bones for up to three hours, not a big deal. But what happens after three hours? Well, basically after that, your body increases the absorption of calcium, so you end up being at a calcium zero. So it doesn't actually make you lose calcium from your bones long term, just in the three hour period. Another study found that a coffee intake of below 1000 milliliters per day, which is about four cups of coffee per day, is safe even for women who've had osteoporotic fractures before. Beyond the amount of 1000 milliliters per day or four cups per day, it seems like women cannot compensate for the calcium losses of coffee. But there's a very, very simple solution to that. Just drink your coffee with milk or cream and that will compensate for it. So it's not that big of a deal. So it seems like there's no amount of coffee that is harmful for women with osteoporosis. So by all means, drink your coffee. How do we know this? Because when the time horizon was broadened from three hours to years, and now what was studied was not just calcium losses from the urine in a matter of three hours, but actual fractures, there seems to be no relationship between fracturous and caffeine intake. However, there is one giant exception. There is one subset of people that has a special gene called TTVDR, that is TT vitamin D receptor. In one study, women without this gene, when they drank coffee, they lost about 0.34% of their bone density in a matter of three years. That's not very much. That's a regular rate of bone loss as a result of aging. However, the women who drank coffee and they did have this gene, they lost more than 8% of their bone mass in the same time period. So a very small subset of women does have this gene and caffeine to those women is highly damaging. So what do you do with this information? Well, you have four different options. One, if you love your coffee but you wanna do everything in your power, well then get tested for this TTVDR gene. And if you do indeed have it, start drinking decaf or start drinking something else, maybe tea. Uh, or something else with very, very low caffeine. And that is one option. Option number two is if you love your coffee enough that even if you have this gene, you're not gonna give it up, well, don't bother getting tested. At least you know the risks of drinking coffee if you have this gene. You, you might be taking a gamble, but it might be a worthwhile gamble for you because there are other things you can do to compensate for the bone loss from coffee. You can exercise, you can take certain supplements, you can eat differently, but just know that this is creating a very large drain on your bones. That is option number two. Option number three, if you like coffee for its taste, but not necessarily for the effect you get from caffeine, just switch to decaf. In and of itself, caffeine is tasteless. What you taste in the coffee is not the caffeine. Decaf has the exact same flavor as coffee. So if you just like the flavor of coffee, but not so much the effect of caffeine, just switch to decaf. And option number four, this probably isn't you if you're watching this video, is if you're not tied to coffee at all, just give it up. Don't drink coffee or don't drink decaf. So these are the four things you can do and whether or not caffeine indeed affects your bones. Again, if you like this video, my name is Igor. Click like and subscribe.